Hello everyone, my name is Misk. Welcome to my world. It has been quite a minute, so let's catch up. Morning everyone. It is the first day of classes and my first day ever in this college and I'm really excited. Okay, so right now it is 12.53. We have lunch from 12 to 1. Me and my friends went and got Pen Express and my mom got to see me because she was also close by. I got myself a fortune cookie and my mom a fortune cookie. So, yeah. I'm really happy she came to see me. I was excited about starting school. Even if it was a big change, I still had high hopes and I was one step closer to achieving one of my dreams. The learning curve was a big one. Having to switch from a physical format to a digital format was really difficult for me because I spent so many years honing my artistic skills to work with my hands. So having to rely on a laptop was kind of difficult. This wasn't anything I couldn't handle. But eventually, the lack of sleep, being constantly pushed to be better, and learning new things all the time started to get to me. To sound like I enjoyed every single minute would be a lie, but to act like I hated all of it would be a worse one. I enjoyed what I was working on, but other factors left a bitter taste in my mouth. I learned to depend on myself, and that my kindness can be taken for granted. Not everyone deserves my company, and not everybody is accepting of who I am. I tried to modify myself to fit their narrative or what they liked, but it just wore me out. I felt lost. What seemed so obvious wasn't obvious anymore, and I lost myself and my passions, including this. First of all, old bad habits that I thought that I broke started to trickle back in. What gave me hope is realizing that everything happens for a reason, to take your own pace and to be accepting of yourself. Sometimes when we go through so much all at once or we are exposed to so many new things all at once, we start to go back to what seems normal or comfortable, even if that means we go back to our old habits. It's natural instinct to do what feels right or what brings us comfort even if it's the wrong thing. I just started to realize that I was starting to fall into my old habits, that I was feeling kind of tired and burnt out. I decided to latch onto whatever made me feel comfortable, but also wasn't a bad habit. Like everybody in the world, I watched the Olympics a lot. But besides that, I also spent a lot of time watching movies. Growing up, I loved watching movies a lot. It's what inspired me to start YouTube and what inspired me to do stop motion animation for so many years of my life. Because of so many factors, I grew indifferent to watching movies. But I've always gone through phases where I find a specific actor or actress that I just watch all their movies. While well, it was Audrey Hepburn, then Gary Grant, and most recently it was Brendan Fraser. Having a consistent character that I know will show up in every movie is nice. And I have something to rate every movie by. An exercise where we had to draw an umbrella and it honestly felt a little crazy, but I think I did an okay job. It is raining a lot, so I'm gonna have to wait inside and probably book it. Best of all, Eventually, I started to enjoy working on my laptop more than my physical work. I had one project where I took a physical model, modeled it on my laptop, and made changes to that. I realized in that moment that I actually like working on my laptop a lot more than- I will admit, there are a lot of things that I like doing physically, like drawing, but at the same time, doing things on your laptop is much easier. There is built-in rulers, there is so many more textures and things you can mess around with that you don't have physically. It's a double-edged sword. There's advantages to physical art and there is advantages to digital art. It's just a matter of knowing when to do what. Things that were confusing started to click. I found my group of people and I learned how to balance my life. Although I had some skeletons in the closet, I learned to deal with them one by one. So what comes next? I don't really know. There isn't some great resolve and I'm not magically better. The same issues that haunt me for years are glaringly obvious now. But you take it day by day, chipping away at it, until you slowly fix it. What seems impossible suddenly isn't, and hardship ends as soon as it began. As for this channel, will I upload consistently? No, I won't. I'll post when I can, creating and sharing pieces of my world with you. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you know the next time that I upload. As always, I hope you all have a great day in here. I love you. Bye.